Good day to all. This weekend, we celebrated the great feast of Pentecost. Our Easter season has ended. So some might ask, what's Pentecost all about? Do we really need it? Well, kind of stupid question. In a world that is so divided and so fearful. You see, forgiveness and reconciliation are the essence of Pentecost. And our world is certainly in desperate need for the Spirit to give us, as the Spirit gave to the apostles, the power to forgive one another and the power for all of us to be reconciled to God. All of us. Even those we don't like, even those we might disagree with. Let us not forget the first words Jesus spoke to the apostles, the apostles who ran and hid when he was arrested, the first words he spoke when he met them in the upper room, he simply said, Peace be with you. He didn't curse them for abandoning him and running away, betraying him. And then he used them to spread this message of peace and reconciliation and forgiveness. We all certainly know that there's a tremendous amount of conflict in our world, of misunderstanding, of competition, so much fear, lots of hatred, and unfortunately we find this even in our church. As the scripture scholar Pat Marin writes, if we have the courage to be peacemakers in our own families and neighborhoods, the Spirit is with us. If we seek to disarm our culture of weapons and hate speech, and can ourselves be witnesses to the power of listening and welcoming those with whom we disagree. The Spirit of Jesus is alive within us. You see, this is what Pentecost is all about. Let us allow the Spirit to be alive in each one of us, in our relationships, our neighborhoods, our families, and hopefully this will impact our world. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful to heal our world and to heal our church. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Be at peace.